Hello everyone. Welcome to MailSaverGuru.com. Today we will see how to design primary and secondary mail server or backup mail server. This design is very common. Most of the corporate environment implements this type of scenario to achieve uh, some sort of redundancy or failover. This is a single server design with little advancement. Uh, better than having a single box. Our main goal is to provide email availability even if the primary server goes down. So here in this design we have our fully functional mail server named mailx1.mailserverguru.com. This is our primary MX server. All incoming mail coming to the server and delivers to its users inbox. Users also downloading mail from the server so it's fully operational server for our organization so to achieve incoming mail uh, failover we set up another mail server named mailx2.mailserverguru.com this server solely purpose is to receive mail in case of primary server goes down we have assigned higher MX priority to this server this server doesn't have any user account nor inboxes so it cannot deliver mail locally instead of local delivery it receives mail and stores them at its queue for remote delivery it waits for primary server to come alive then delivers all email to the primary one local users will always send and receive mail from the primary mail server backup server just holds email when the primary server is unavailable so this is the concept of primary and backup mail server let's see uh, another design in this design we implement the same scenario only exception is our secondary server is at ISP level normally at corporate environment we don't get two dedicated server to implement this failover scenario because server is very costly that's why to minimize cost either we choose to rent a VPS or use ISP mail server for backup MX service in case of primary server goes down ISP mail server will hold our mail this is the concept ISP provides this service with two types of configuration either it can store email to its mail server SKU uh, I guess uh, this service is almost free or it gives us a casual email address at their server where all our incoming mail will be saved on an inbox this is permanent keeping by the ISP server then our primary server will pull all email from it and deliver to its users so this is the way we implement primary and backup mail server at the corporate environment so this is it for now when we implement the scenario practically I will show you how to configure server for this scenario uh, step by step so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and please uh, give your comment so thanks uh, see you on the next video bye